start welcome students today we are going to discuss outer part of the rectangular figures outer part means whatever lies outside the rectangular figure we are going to discuss it by the very simple method that is special method to find outer perimeter of this rectangular figure and area of rectangular figure let l equal to length length means length of the interior figure that means 100 meters it is our supposition breadth equal to 50 meters and width of the path is it is 100 it is 50 and breadth of the path is 10 meter this is special method to find perimeter of the outer figure that's outer part now x equal to this is called width width of the path 10 meter do you know how we can directly find perimeter of the outer part outer part of this figure perimeter equal to 12 length plus breadth plus 4 times width of the path now we have taken two times what is length Hundred. What is breadth? Fifty. What is four times of width? That is forty. Now we are taking sum of these numbers: hundred plus fifty plus forty. That is one ninety. It become three eighty. Now this is the outer part of this figure. Outer part means we are considering this line. What is will be total of this length? Now similarly by shortcut method we can find area of this path, outer path. Area of outer path is. twice length plus breadth plus two times width into width of the path once again area of the outer path outer path means this area it is equal to Twice of length plus breadth plus two times width of the path multiplied by width of the path. Now we are taking these values two times. What is length? Hundred. What is breadth? Fifty. What is width of the path? Ten. Ten into two. Twenty. it is multiplied by 10 we write it as square meter 2 multiply 170 multiply by 10 it become 3400 square meter this is the special formula for finding the length of the length means perimeter perimeter outer perimeter of the figure rectangular figure and 
area of this outer path of this figure. Area of outer path. Now for this verification, we have very simple idea. Very simple idea. If we are taking this as 100, 100 plus 10, 110 plus 10, 120. Then again take 50 plus 10 plus 10, 70. 120 plus 70. That become 190. What is double of this? 380. Similarly, in this case, area of this path, area path means we are taking these areas. And at the four corners, there are four squares. like this. And areas of these squares are x square, x square, x square, x square. That means 2 into 2x, that is 2x square, 2x into 2x into 2, that is 4x, 4x square, then it become total area 3400. And we are also taking these areas, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's everything. 